Today is an exciting day here at the GE Gas Turbine Facility in Greenville, South Carolina, as we prepare for the first 7H AO2 production unit to go horizontal and begin its final assembly build. It will happen here behind me in our new custom-built work stands, where we will build all of our 7H units in the future. These stands are unique in that they're custom-built to accommodate the size of the 7H AO1s and AO2s. Also, they do elevate, so that as our employees are working at higher elevations, tensioning bolts or installing combustion, they can elevate with the unit to reduce the fall risk. We also have our new zero-gravity arm that we'll use in the future to install combustion. We're here today to talk about 7HA.02 vertical stack. The unit's complete, ready to go to the horizontal side to be turned down. From top to bottom, we have five components. The exhaust frame, uh, put the CDC on top of the turbine shell, compressor to the CDC, the inlet to the compressor. In my 25 years here, this is the best unit that we have ever built. So we just turned down the 7HA.02 unit. Turn down is essentially the transition between our vertical build process and our horizontal build cycle. From here, we'll take it to one of our horizontal build stands. We'll take the upper half casings off, install components, rotor, combustion, put it all back together. This marks day zero of our build cycle. We've been working on the 7HA.02 unit for a while now, and we're excited to see it come together here in unit assembly. Day zero is wrapping up. As you can see behind me, the unit has been based. We're starting to float the unit so we can proceed with our final assembly on the gas turbine. A few takeaways from the day. One is that our preparation was critical with engineering and with the assemblers getting ready to make today possible and a success. Also, there's an air of excitement in Greenville as everybody is laser focused and understands the significance of building the world's most powerful and most efficient gas turbine in its class.